When you see runway images like this, it's no wonder some of us are scared of fashion trends. In this video, I'm gonna share some stylish, simple, subtle ways that you can rock the trends no matter what your age. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about fall fashion trends again, cause we love them. If you missed my whole like trend roundup video, we will put a link to that below in the description box and up here in the cards. So in this video, I wanna talk about some of my favorite fall fashion trends, but then also show you some subtle, effortless ways that you can wear those trends. I feel like especially as we get older, we're walking this fine line or doing this dance, if you will, between wanting to look modern current sophisticated over here and then not wanting to go over here into the like I'm trying too hard I look desperate to reclaim youth then I look like my teenage daughter like this is the zone we don't want to be in <laughs> but we still want to be here there's this happy ground in the middle and that's what I want to talk about in this video today before I dive into these trends that I want to show you I want to say a huge thank you to ever Eve who is sponsoring this video I only partner with brands and businesses that I love. Nobody does effortless, casual, elevated style like Ever Eve. The buyers there just get it. They understand what the everyday woman needs, what types of pieces she needs to effortlessly weave into her lifestyle, her active dynamic lifestyle. Everything from running errands to picking up kids at school, to going to the grocery store, to going to the office, to weekend casual. They understand women and especially I feel like mature women because after a certain age you just don't want to spend money on pieces that are going to fall apart in the wash after three washes. I don't anyway. I don't, I'm not interested in that anymore. I want to buy pieces that I know will stand the test of time, that will wash and wear well, that will again integrate seamlessly into my lifestyle but then also remember over here have that modern stylish element to them that really makes it feel current. Thanks again to Every for sponsoring this video. Let's Get started. Trend number one is strong shoulders. So on the runway, you may see something like this and go, no way am I doing this? But I wanna show you that subtle version. So let's start out by taking a look at one of my favorite t-shirts, t-shirt lines, Nation LTD. This is a black t-shirt. It has a very subtle puff shoulder. There's a lot of over the top puff shoulders going on right now. Here is it's a very simple way to do it that you really can rock no matter what your age or even what your body shape is, unless you're an extreme exaggerated inverted triangle with wide shoulders. It's a very very subtle puff shoulder. It adds a current twist to an otherwise very basic piece, a black t-shirt. That's really what I'm talking about here is taking the trend and really dialing it down so that it integrates seamlessly into your lifestyle. And then with this fabulous, very subtly puff shoulder t-shirt, I paired it with some really cool olive green level 99 joggers and a pair of croc embossed loafers by Vince Camuto. Let's talk about the next trend, which is definitely one of the trends that might perplex you or feel like it's not you. It's the sweater vest. The sweater vest is making a comeback this season and I wanted to show you just how wearable and versatile it really can be so that you don't take a look at it and go, oh, I can't do that. Ooh, it's too preppy. Ooh, it's like clueless in 1990. I want you to see it in ways that are very attainable and wearable. The first look I wanna show you is simply by wearing the sweater vest alone. You, you don't have to wear anything under the sweater vest, you can just wear it on its own. And then style it with some jeans, some great jeans and some tall boots. So I chose skinny jeans in this outfit because I wanted to really highlight these boots and wear them over the jeans. And then a, just a really great yummy brown tan belt with some gold hardware. A second option for your sweater vest is to wear a longer white button down shirt underneath it. Now here's an example of a white button down that actually covers your bum a little bit. So if you are wearing a tighter fitting jean, you can have a little more coverage in the back with your white button down shirt. It's also a way to extend the hemline of your sweater vest, but the sweater vest, as I've talked about before, especially in my recent video, we talked about looking slimmer in the waist. The sweater vest creates the waist and then the shirt underneath gives you the coverage that you need or want to kind of cover the hips and the bum. These are the same boots, by the way. They are a brown suede boot by Vince Camuto. They have a square toe. They have a stacked chunky heel, making them really easy to walk in. They have a side zip, so they're easy to get on and off. I will say they are a bit narrow. So if you have a wider calf, I probably would skip these boots. But if you want a pair of just gorgeous brown boots, 
These are beautiful. Personally, I love how kind of fitted they are to the leg because I feel like these look so good with dresses and skirts too, making them a little more versatile. The other thing that's really nice about these boots is that they have the scrunched look, but they're not actually scrunched. Like they're permanently the way they are. They're not gonna fall down. You don't have to pull them up because sometimes when you have the scrunched boot look and you scrunch them down, you feel like you always have to pull them up or you always have to push them down. In this situation, they stay put, which is really nice. And then one last option for your sweater vest is to layer it under something. In this case, I layered it under a ponty knit black blazer with a zip and zip out dicky hoodie underneath. This blazer, by the way, you guys may remember from the last Ever Eve video I did, very similar to that jacket. This jacket though is by Ever Eve. They, for the first time ever, have launched their own line of clothing based on what you love, what you buy, what you need, what you want. And this jacket is in their collection, which I'm so excited about because the last time I featured it, it sold out in like a hot minute. Don't drag your heels if you like this jacket. Scoop it up. You can easily zip out the hoodie if you don't want it so it's a more elegant streamlined look if you want a more casual look you could zip the hoodie back in the jacket is perfect for travel because it doesn't wrinkle it's wonderful you're gonna love it you're gonna thank me you're welcome and then on my feet with this look a pair of sneakers by gola they are i believe just only a couple sizes left but i found a pair that is in the same sort of color family with this camel and white and black by p448 and we will put a link to those below in the description box. They're really cool. They're more of that high chunky dad sneaker. I know a lot of you resisted the dad sneaker. Even I resisted the dad sneaker, but I feel like these sneakers with the really elevated platforms are so nice for those of us that really need a little extra height. Like me, I'm 5'4". They're slightly more streamlined now, but they still have that chunky platform. So you can see in these examples that the sweater vest can be incredibly versatile. It's very wearable. It's very simple to style. It's also lovely. It looks cool, but it also looks accessible. The next trend I want to talk about is actually a shoe trend. So I did show you those really cool Vince Camuto tall brown boots. Brown very much on trend. We talked about it last season. Still going strong. Very beautiful color. Wonderful neutral. Brown is the new black. But loafers are also having a moment, have made a comeback, and they are incredibly wearable, comfortable, functional. That's another one like, wow. Why wouldn't you embrace it? Why wouldn't you embrace sneakers with dresses? Cause that's a no brainer or the chunky sneaker to add the height. Here you are loafers, flats, comfortable, easy to get on, easy to get off, like go for it. These are by Vince Camuto. They have a croc embossed leather and the gold chain across the top of the shoe. So they look very luxurious. Again, very comfortable, very easy, very wearable, very effortless. So I just paired those with some straight leg jeans, which I'll talk more about in a minute. And also a sweater with some subtle cutouts at the shoulder, which I will also talk more about in a minute. And then that same brown belt. By the way, this necklace is a multi-strand necklace, which I love as well because it does the work for you. You just only have to do one clasp and then you're done. That's my favorite kind. You don't have to monkey around with two clasps and layering it and detangling it and all of that. It's just very simple, but cool, modern, great. The next trend is definitely one of my favorites and that is is Lux leather and it doesn't have to be real leather. There are tons of vegan leather options. These pants by Commando are a vegan leather option for you and well done Commando because these are like my new favorite pants. They are so wonderful. They feel silky on your skin. Somehow they're more breathable than every other vegan leather garment I've ever put on. They are stretchy. I know you're like what? Vegan leather stretchy? You just pull them on. It's no problem because they're so dang stretchy. You can just pull them right on. They then you tie the paper bag waist. In this case, I like to put the tie off to the side a bit because I don't want the dangle hanging in the crotch area for lack of a better <laughs> term. I like it off to the side. I think it's more elegant. And then I paired these beautiful vegan leather stretchy pants with another Ever Eve piece. This is a white sweater. It is ribbed. It also has a wide neckline or a boat neckline. So it looks great on the shoulder or it looks great off the shoulder. It does have some room. It's a dolman sleeve, so it has some room in the sleeves. And the nice thing is you can tuck the sweater in because it's so lightweight and thin. No problem tucking it in, doesn't add bulk 
or you can wear it out, which is really great. Wait for it for those of you who are busty. Yes, this is a lovely piece for those of you who are busty because it gives some room around the girls and then it's a little more cinched under the empire waist and at the, at the hips and the waist. On my feet, by the way, are a pair of stiletto suede booties by Shoots. These are fabulous. I wear them all the time. You will love them. They're lightweight. They're comfortable for heels and they're just so elegant and gorgeous. It's, a, it's like these are a slam dunk. You'll love them. I wanted to show you these same faux leather pants with a different top. This top is by Sanctuary and it has a big dramatic shoulder cutout, which is quite sexy. But mind you, it's a t-shirt, so it's very comfortable, very functional, very wearable. But this is a great look if you're going out on a date, but you still want it to be, again, comfortable, confident. You know, you need to move and walk and be and do. This is perfect. The t-shirt is low in stock, so I wanted to show you another one with a very just subtle cutout at the shoulder that you could actually wear a regular bra with that I think is even better than this one because it has sleeves too. And we will put a link to that below in the description box. The reason I wanted to show you this is because cutouts are another big fashion trend happening right now. And that could be one where you're like, no, and I've talked about it before. Like you're like, I don't, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. It's too, it's not. When you have some strategy behind it and it is a simple, just one subtle cutout, it's very wearable. Here is a perfect example of how doable it is. And then remember the outfit I showed you with the loafers and the sweater with the cutouts at the shoulders? That's another option that you could do. Again, very subtle, can wear a regular bra with it, no problem. Very versatile and wearable. Now I wanna go back to that look I showed you before with the straight leg jeans. These jeans are a little different than the baggy jeans that you're seeing more and more of now. These are more of a fitted jean. They fit more like a skinny jean, but they have a straight leg. That's a great way, a much more wearable, subtle way, effortless way to dip your toe into the more relaxed fit jean trend without going all in. You're not dunking yourself into the water. You just dip in the toe in. And so this is the way you can do it. Ease yourself into the water. Just that fitted silhouette, but just more of a straight leg versus the real tapered leg. Now there's still a place for the tapered or skinny jeans in your wardrobe. I showed you a look with them, okay? When you have a boot that you want to show off, you wear over the jeans, wear just a longer top maybe, and then you've got your skinny jean look. But where we're going at this moment in time is more toward a straight, more relaxed fit jean or flared pair of jeans, which I've talked about a lot in my video where I talked about how to make your legs look longer. So if you want to go back and watch that one after this one, have at it. We'll put it in the description box below and up here. And of course, all the links to everything I featured in this video are in the description box. But I am guessing that a lot of you have pieces similar to these in your own closet right now. So play around with that. Think about what you might have. What trends really speak to you and then think about easy or subtle ways that you can incorporate those trends into your wardrobe that feels accessible and comfortable to you. The thing that gives you that little extra pop or that little extra, you know, pizzazz or spring in your step is the trend. Don't totally stay away from them. I would try them, but this is a way that you can do it where it feels a lot more effortless. You're not going to veer into that zone I talked about before of looking like you're trying too hard because we don't want that. No. Make sure you put all your comments and questions below the video. Thank you again to Every for sponsoring this video and thank you to all of you for watching it. I sure hope that you will hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and maybe share my channel over on your Facebook page. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks again, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.